Hey everybody, look at that. It's a new one. And here is the new FMS FCX24K5 Blazer. Hard body. Portal axles. Two speed. So it's an all new body. It does not share any parts with the K10. Uh, I think they call it a 118th K10, whatever. Um, it does not share anything with it. See, the K5 is a little smaller in all dimensions. This hood opens. This one does not. Okay, so obviously they did it so it could keep the same wheelbase as the other ones. Here they are. Together. I'm beginning to think that the FCX line is more performance based than their other stuff. So it's a little stripped down compared to others. Doesn't have inner fenders. The body is detailed and it is a hard body, but it, it's missing a few things like windshield wipers and, and whatever. But it is a nice shiny black body. They come in this one comes in a couple colors, brown and like an orange and white. It's from Texas. They still have the like wide looking kind of Euro plate thing going on. Separate molded mirrors and lights. And the top is removable. So you can put on this little roll bar the lights that can go there and then it could I guess become some kind of pickup thing so these are the same old Cooper Discover SST ST Cooper Discover STT Pro looking tires that they have on a lot of trucks same wheels now they, they do kind of stick out a little bit so it's the same body mount all other FCX trucks. Squeeze the little two things and it flops right off. It looks like the tinted window windshield piece makes like a little rear cab wall which of course you wouldn't have on a real K5. It'd be open and there'd be seats in the back. So I guess if you take the top off and you put your little roll bar, you can sort of have a pickup truck. And it's wired for uh, headlights. There are no tail lights. And underneath is what we're used to on the other FCX 24s. Battery shift servo for the two speed. Now it has the power dash motor, which is nice little bit of whatever. It works well. I just swapped this junk and the axles to that uh, Ford F1 thing, the Magnum. It turned out pretty well. I'll have to make a video about that. Well, I did do a running video in Smiggins Folly. You should check that out. So, servo on axle, portals. That's about it. Now, you might be wondering, what would this body look like? on the smasher, on the monster truck. I'm gonna show you. So here is the Max Smashes, the V1. And I cut my V2 up for that Magnum. Comes off, this goes on. Cool. So if you want to do that, you can do that. All you gotta do is buy a monster truck, wheels and tires. That's crunchy, what's wrong with this thing? So it's got clearance for that. The fender openings are a little oversized if you could compare it to these ones. 
So maybe in the future they will offer the monster truck version of this. It would make sense. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. If you order this K5 FCX24 between April 11th, which is today, I don't know, I'm gonna upload it, but between April 11th and May 10th, 2023, they will also include this rooftop rack. What is, now let me check here. What is it called? The rooftop rack and this front bumper, K5 Blazer front bumper style B. They will include that while supplies last. If you order from the FMS website, I'll put a link in the description down there. So the rack is okay, but I'm not, I don't want to, I don't really want to do that. And this is cool and all, but I don't want that either. I do like this front bumper though, because it'll give me a reason to get rid of that wide license plate. And it just gives it a real nifty look. So shall we put that on? I want to put this protective towel down so I don't scratch this shiny black paint. Little holes for the shocks. It's kind of a bummer. Let's take the top off just to see what it looks like. That little wall thing. Wee. So that's painted black. So there's no window even. So that's a thing. Let's put that back on. Cool. So how much does this cost? Well, it costs $149.99. It costs $149.99 US dollars if you use code Turks and Jerps at checkout. You will save 5%. Wow. Nothing under here is new. It's just a new body. Now I think you can fill these shocks with oil. Oh, you gotta go through a whole thing. You gotta put all these O-rings and stuff. So I'm not going to do that, because I don't want to. So I just want to drive it. That smiggins folly, ever hear of it? And it looks kind of cool when they're bouncy in slow motion, so I'm gonna just skip it. That's it. I think we covered it all. Let's go outside, get in the dirt, do some wheelies and stuff. That's all I gotta say. Oh, what I might do with it, I have these tires, uh, what are the brand, whatever it is. Do like a little mud guy or something. I don't know, I'm in a rush. Let's go outside. Thanks, bye. And one more thing before we go outside. Um, you probably want to know what scale it is. I just measured the wheelbase and, you know, went off that. The wheelbase really doesn't line up perfect with the body, but it's close enough for us to get a scale. It's 1 19th. So I think they're selling it as 1 24th, but it's like more like 1 19th. 